強い人が集まっているところで自分の強さを証明するそれが私の格闘ゲームの道です On August 4th, 2023, at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, Evo opened its doors to tens of thousands of competitors and millions of viewers watching at home. So, what is Evo? It is, to me, the biggest celebration of fighting games in the world. It's the one where people come from all over, all different countries. When you watch your heroes, they're always going to be there. Top eight, or maybe winning it. And Sonic Fox takes it three to two in a nail biter. Founded in 1996, Evo is the premier global fighting game tournament. Oh, oh my God! God! Oh, my God! So high! An epic weekend filled with developer and merch booths, exciting reveals, community fanfare, and of course, the best gaming the world has to offer. Four Evo titles. Absolutely unbelievable. And in 2023, Evo had its largest attendance ever. This is the biggest tournament of this scale ever. We are in the biggest renaissance that we've had since probably 2009 era. Evo is now a major industry event where breaking news, exclusive content, and ultimate fandom converge. The scene has grown just. Exponentially. In 2023, top gaming publishers gave fans an exclusive look at the next generation of FGC titles, including Mortal Kombat 1, Tekken 8, and the highly anticipated Project L. I'm very interested in the future of other games like Street Fighter 6, which I'm starting to start. Tengo vista para el juego de rayos de Project L. Evo's current impact on fighting game culture is undeniable, but they're always looking at how to make the FGC even bigger. Not only are we welcoming in new generations of fighting game fans, we're hopefully maintaining and retaining the core community that has been there since the very beginning. By creating unique partnerships with gaming companies in the FGC, such as PlayStation Esports, Evo has been successful, reaching new fans around the world. PlayStation Esports has done a great job of really gathering the fighting game community from the beginner level all the way up to the advanced level, and I think that's an amazing thing. In spring 2023, PlayStation announced their Road to Evo initiative, inviting players worldwide to compete online for an all expense paid trip to Evo in Las Vegas. This is such an opportunity for so many people because it is free to enter. It's free to play. I saw like an advertisement about the PlayStation tournament. I was like, I want to try my best to qualify for this event. I saw that and I was like, oh, you can win a free trip. Even I'm like, yeah, I might as well try it out, you know. Eleven players representing nine different countries across five games qualified for Evo 2023 through the Road to Evo initiative. There's a lot of players, me included. I wouldn't have had the opportunity to come here to Evo if it weren't for PlayStation. I'm a very happy feeling. 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 I never went to a Western country before. It really is a culture shock. Well, I'm always super happy every time I represent Switzerland for tournaments, but for EVO, it's even better because、uh, we are not many going to EVO from Switzerland. I don't know, there's something about representing Brazil that's, that's really. that gets you. Being able to represent your own country abroad is a really good feeling. The Road to Evo program awarded a diverse group of players with a chance to shine. And to be able to come in to a free to enter tournament and get something like a fully expensed paid trip to Evo is a wonderful opportunity to showcase what these people from around the world are able to do and what they have contributed to the fighting game community as a whole. It was a huge accomplishment. 
All the way from Greece, Evo newcomer K-Top has been playing fighting games with his twin brother since they were seven years old. I have been playing fighting games for more than like 15 years. With my twin brother Aistop, we practice together, and this is how I got into Mortal Kombat. This epic sibling rivalry was put to the test when K-Top had to beat his twin H-Dope en route to the finals of the Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Road to Evo EU Tournament. It was really the worst feeling simply because I had to play him at the start of the tournament. This kind of broke my heart because uh, I managed to beat him and I felt sad about it. K-Top is going to be moving forward in the battle of the twins. Thankfully, it was all brotherly love when K-Top won the Road to Evo Tournament. Anything. Oh, oh no, no, that's the game! When I was doing the last combo before the round finishes, I said to, to my brother, like, we're going to Evo. We both cried from excitement. Very well done. Congratulations, K-Top. Evo means everything for me. This is like the biggest fighting tournament of all time. So being in Evo, it's so special for me. It is a really a dream come true. Road to Evo 2023 winners K-Top, Kira Kira and Agamotto's Eye made their Evo Las Vegas debut. So he gets that bar back. Oh, frustration and celebration. While players like Devil Boo and Bean return to Evo once again. Empty the pockets, but it's not gonna matter. Oh my God, Bean interrupting everything. And others experience the thrill of sharing the stage with FGC legends. Tiger Pop progressed far into the Guilty Gear Strive tournament at EVO 2023 and tested his skills against the previous year's winner, Umi Show. That's gonna be enough, and Umi Show takes it. Three to one. Both incredible players and an incredible match. While Keske had the honor of competing against four time Tekken 7 EVO champion Arslan Ash. Oh, wow! Went for out. gold, and Keske went with the down four, so he got low crud. Wow! And then there were those like top Tekken player Joey Fury, who aimed even higher. So my real name is Joseph Bennett. I go by Joey Fury. From Buffalo, New York, Joey started his ascent in the Tekken scene with humble beginnings. Been playing Tekken pretty much my whole life or since I was a little kid. My older brother got me into it. Within a few years, I became the best player in my house. Started off very humble, just getting in a car with you know whoever was old enough to drive at the time who had a license and I was driving to another town to play in a tournament and now getting on flights and traveling to different countries. For a player like Joey, Evo is the ultimate litmus test to prove why he's one of the best. So Evo is the biggest fighting game tournament in the world and it's where you're really going to test your skills at the absolute highest level. At EVO 2022, Joey had an impressive performance, finishing in 17th place out of over 1,200 players. What the hell? That's a tackle! Now you get it. Now you're dead! Joey Fury over Watanabe! Joey's run eventually ended when he faced Knee, the 2022 Tekken 7 oh. champion. Rage of Edelman out for Knee. Down for one hit. No oh. bro! The one that makes it through. It's a bit of a heartbreaker kind of went into this one with a bit of a chip on my shoulder, like that's not gonna happen to me again. Joey took this confidence into EVO 2023 weekend, ready to take on the world's best. Oh. No way, no way! Oh. Joey Fury oh. takes out the way gamble, can you believe it? Joey's run to the top six came to a halt when he faced Tekken legend, Anakin. Four seconds left! Big win for the 134, and Anakin! It's gonna take over Joey Fury! Joey finished in ninth place out of over 1,500 entrants, besting his EVO 2022 results. After long, grueling days filled with thousands of matchups, three incredible players from the Road to EVO program competed on the main stage at EVO 2023. <laughs> Hailing from Seoul, South Korea, Korean wrestling man won the PlayStation Tournament's Road to Evo for Melty Blood type Lumina. ID 유래가 좀 나올 수 있긴 한데 원래는 이제 씨름이라고 해서 한국의 전통 운동 같은 걸 했었어요. 근데 이제 그 운동을 하다가 좀 그만두게 되었는데 또 어떻게 보면 처음에는 조금 이제 그 제가 처음 시작한 격투 게임이 Melty Blood이어가지고. So Melty Blood Type Lumina is a very fast-paced, high-octane game, huge cast of characters that both play on the ground and in the air. Melty Blood, 
냉정하게 말하면은 멜티블러드는 솔직히 한국이 좀 이제 유저풀도 솔직히 별로 없고 솔직히 말하면 사람이 적어요 기본적으로 뭐 솔직히 이렇게 큰 어떻게 보면 큰 대회잖아요 뭐 예선도 막네 번이 있었고. Korean wrestling man had extra pressure on him at EVO 2023. He was in the shadow of 2022's PlayStation Road to EVO winner Jing, who was crowned champion at EVO 2022 for Melty Blood Type Lumina. Jing! He'll take it! He's a Melty Blood 2022 champion! Jing's run in Melty Blood was amazing. You know, he ended up winning the tournament. Not only that, really solidifying himself as one of the best players around the world. 방금 말했던 그 디펜딩 챔피언이 진 선수도 솔직히 말하면은 제가 이제 뭐 참가를 했기 때문에 그래도 또 이제 열심히 해서 올라갈 수 있도록 해봐야죠. And he did just that. Korean wrestling man played flawlessly, winning every match he had in the Melty Blood type Lumina pools. Punish? Yes! Let's go! That was really smart for Korean wrestling man. And earned a spot in the Melty Blood type Lumina top six at EVO, alongside 2022 champion Jing. This particular EVO for Melty Blood type Lumina was so difficult. To be able to get into this top six was probably more difficult than any bracket that we've had in the history of type Lumina. And we are moving into the top six for Melty Blood, and all eyes are on PlayStation Tournament's Road to EVO winner, Korean Wrestling Man. So we get our sole Korean representative for this event. Fifth place from Korea, Korean wrestling man, doing work with that Mario. 지금도 굉장히 좀 감격스럽고요. 좀더 좋은 모습만 보여줬다면 좋았을 것 같은데 아, 정말 너무 기쁩니다. Me llamo Daniel. Eh, mi nick es Gropis por el que me conocen. Living in Spain, Gropis has been playing competitive Dragon Ball Fighters for many years. Dragon Ball Fighters is a 3v3 tag team fighting game featuring characters from all the Dragon Ball franchises. Lo que más me gusta es sobre todo eh, la franquicia, porque es un al final es un anime que con el que yo me he criado también de pequeño. Empecé a jugar, jugar, jugar y de ahí me puse a competir. Y de aquí ya han pasado pues casi cinco años. His journey to Evo 2023 began last year. Gropas finished second in the Road to Evo 2022 Dragon Ball Fighters tournament. He performed very, very well. I think that was his breakout tournament. Sí, hubieron muchos nervios en la partida porque, si no mal no recuerdo, fue una partida contra un amigo mío que pertenece también a España y nada, fue muy reñido. Ganó él y igualmente yo me puse también muy contento porque al final hubo un premio económico que me vino súper bien. Y él se pudo permitir el viaje y experimentar también por primera vez lo que fue el Evo. But in 2023, he would not be denied his trip to Evo. Gropis, finish your combo. You don't have to go for anything difficult right now. Simple. There we go into level one. Gropis takes nice. the win, ladies and gentlemen. After losing the grand finals last year and narrowly missing out on a big flight to Evo, Gropis confirms his win. Me sentí muy contento porque siempre he tenido la ilusión de algún día poder ir al Evo y lo ganara es algo que celebraría por todo lo alto con amigos, familia y de todo. Gropis took Evo 2023 by storm, playing masterfully in the highly competitive Dragon Ball Fighters pools. And Gropis, oh my god! Oh, but we picked it back up! Picked it back up and Gropis is in top six! And unbelievably, he found himself competing on the main stage at his first EVO. Wow, what a unique path for this young player here. Absolutely, and a well-deserved one. Man, Gropis, all the way from Spain, he won the tournament, the British tournament, road to EVO. This could be the start of a horror movie for Gropis. No, no. the round star! He actually went for a round star DP. Gropis will move forward to the loser semi-final. And in fourth place, of course, he came all the way from Spain from qualifying online. Guys, give it up for the freezer specialist, Gropis! Well, no me imaginaba que fuera posible porque no esperaba llevar tan lejos. Y estaba un poco nervioso, pero ahora pues tocará celebrarlo. Hi, I'm Daru Ino. Originally from South Korea, Daru currently lives in Osaka, Japan. 
He is a seasoned competitor in the Guilty Gear community, winning the Road to Evo package in 2022 and 2023. Oh, Guilty Gear Strive is the latest iteration of the Guilty Gear series. It's been out for quite some time now. Daru has committed half his life to Guilty Gear and is no stranger to Evo. Oh, that was extremely Daru came close to fulfilling his dream, competing in the top eight at Evo 2022. Daru encountered former Evo champion Lefin before having to face his good friend Hotashi on the main stage. You can see the camaraderie between these two as they walk off the stage, lots of pats on the back. Entering the weekend at Evo 2023, Daru was determined to place higher in the top six. Oh, Red RC, this is victory. Daru moves on in the bracket and takes down Stealthy. Daru dominated the competition throughout the pools. Forward, the chase down is real, but there it is again. The stroke goes under the far slash. And punched his ticket back into the top six at Evo. Guilty Gear Strive Top Six! Most players could only dream of competing in an Evo Top Six. Daru doing it in back to back years was truly special. For him to be back here on this stage, especially with the bracket size that we had here with over 2,000 players, is an incredible feat. So good stuff, and thanks to PlayStation for making it happen and Dart, you know, out here. How is God? Like, you win a tournament, but you get flown out to Vegas, and here you are in top four playing in the winner's finals on the big stage. It's a beautiful thing, man, the PlayStation Tournament Series. And now a lot of you to work with Baited. Oh, no, why did you do it like that? Daru taking advantage of Nubenheimer. Daru last year, like I said, finishing at fifth, so now he's guaranteed himself, right? At least yeah. top three. Daru's magical run was ended by Leffen, his familiar foe and the eventual Guilty Gear Strive Evo 2023 champion. In the end, Daru reached new heights, earning a third place finish. Yeah, definitely give it up for Daru, bound, man. Bound to the crowd, great stuff there. That is a staple of yes. the Guilty Gear scene right here, man. So EVO 2023 is almost over, but so amazing to see so many PlayStation tournaments Road to EVO winners do so well. EVO 2023 set new standards in attendance, gameplay, and community. And thanks to PlayStation's Road to Evo, more players around the world had the chance to test their skills against the best in the FGC. Road to Evo is back in 2024. Sign up for your chance to win a free trip to Las Vegas and compete at Evo 2024. Follow and subscribe to PlayStation Esports for more FGC content. Please